I want to reference someone, you may not know who this guy is, but his name is George Hegel. He was a German philosopher. And he invented one of the most insidious things, I think, to ever be invented. And he invented the concept, it's called dialectical materialism. And in a very, very easy way, it's this. You take what is, and you take what is not. And you combine them to create something new. So, his vision for society, he said, you take the, the, the thesis and the antithesis, and you combine them and you make a synthesis, which is, a, it's a synthetic reality. Because what he, in, in his mind, he had a spiral, and society and, and history would go along a spiral. And you would constantly be taking what is and what is not, combining them into what is new. And you take that all the way up into a point where he believes that man will be his own god. And only when man is at that point, a man will be happy. So it's, it's completely antithetical to what any religion teaches, especially the Bible. So that is where all of this evilness comes from. That is why you see men now becoming women. Oh, now, now you can't be a man or woman. You have to be something else. What is that? Let's combine genders, and now you're going to be this. Now you're a cat. You're an animal. Men and men is okay. Women, women. Next up, men and children. Thank you. Pedophilia is trying to be normalized right now. They actually call them MAPs, minor attracted persons. Why do they call them maps and not pedophiles? Well, as I told you before, if they can change the way that you reference something, like instead of a criminal, justice impaired. Now they're not homeless, now they're unhoused, right? It, it's all to get you to change the way that you think about it, and they, they can dictate society if they get you to talk about things in different words. That's why censorship is so critical, because they don't want you talking about the same old stuff, the same old Bible, the same old principles that don't change. They can't go on their dialectical materialism ride up that spiral unless things change. So you are an impediment to that being changed. So they have to change the church, what the church does, the way the church teaches, who they accept into their doors, and everything else about the church until it is no longer the church. I don't know if you saw, but the Episcopalians just changed their logo on their church. Now they have the pride flag colors on their shield. And this is not new. They, they, this has been done in the Soviet Union. This is exactly how they infiltrate and take over the churches because you, you are actually are the enemy of them and that's who they want to take out. 